Um, okay, we're live. Uh, I am here with Julia. Hi. Torelli, and, um, and we're in Milan. Hi, guys. And I'm going to put you guys both in the frame here. Um, and so, Julia, we're doing a massive packing video. <laughs> yes. And <clears throat> Julia and I actually did this three years ago. Yeah. In Paris. Yes. And that was so nice <laughs> seeing you yep. like after COVID and we had just met for the first time. And so we are going to uh, annualize this because we're going to start coming to Milan for a resort uh, for Fashion Week. But I've got um, the monster trip planned. So I've been in Milan for a week for Fashion Week. And then I'm going to Ez, France, which is like tiny yep. little mountain top. Yeah. And I'm going to write there for two days, two nights, three days. Then I'm going to go to uh, Saint Jean Cap Ferrat for two weeks. Ah. So true, like renting a house. So I will have a washing machine. Okay. Um, but two weeks. <laughs> okay. And uh, and in Saint Jean Cap Ferrat, it's going to be all different things from like farmers market to like tons of hiking and exercise. Oh. The beach. Beach, and then like Restaurant. dinner at Hotel du Cap, but then dinner at tiny little seafood restaurants, and then like at night in Monaco. So okay. then, so you, you know, need, I need a huge <laughs> range. And then I'm headed to Berlin and to Antwerp for a week to meet up with Tracy, my head of design, and we're going to work on the fall collection. So maybe it's going to be colder. So it's going to be colder. So it's, yeah, okay, Different. like a lot Different. of stuff to pack here. So, no one believes me, the team, I unpacked what I brought with yeah, me. Yeah, no. I'm so, I'm proof. There's a table full of stuff and there's a rack full of stuff. Yeah, so I'm going to... How many suitcases? I have going to do two suitcases. Um, let me flip this around on mine. So, this is all I brought with me. And actually, this was a purchase here. So I've made one purchase since but being... But it's a bag. So it's a bag. bag. Um, but this is... This, this, and this is what I brought with me. And so... These are all of the things. And then all of this. I swear to God. And, 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 and my shoes. Yeah. <laughs> and to be fair, I did have to sit on this bag to close it, I, you know, to be fair. But, and even, like, even he, like, yeah. I stuffed him oh. full of stuff, and then I put him in there. So This takes all of the space, basically, so. Yes, it took half the space. So, okay, guys, so I okay. swear we're going to see it happen yeah. live. I'm going to prove that, um, I'm going to prove that we did it. But most importantly, we're going to make looks. Because packing, yes. it's, packing is one of the most difficult stuff ever. Yeah. Because you don't have your closet, you don't have your clothes, you don't know what's going to happen, you don't know the temperature. Yes, you don't exactly. Know, and especially when the temperature is not like 30 degrees Celsius. And what's also tough is, is if you are going to a new place and yeah. you don't know what, yeah. what the vibe is. <laughs> yeah. And I, I mean, nothing feels worse than like rolling yes. up and everything is just all right. Or it's too hot, you don't have the clothes for yeah. you either. Hate the worst, the it. worst. Okay. So, and I'm gonna actually, while we're doing this, try and decide what I'm gonna wear because okay. I'm gonna go on a four hour drive to Ez. So I got okay. four hours okay. out of the car. Okay. Also, the most important thing to me is to be comfortable. Yes. But you understand this, you know, so. My life great. is about comfortable, yeah. but still chic. Exactly, right? that's the difficult part to me. Which one, okay, so I'm gonna start with um, one of the things I bring with me, and I, I didn't do as good a job on this trip, but um, I definitely pack an assortment of t-shirts. Yes. Okay. So, so I you think start with this. Start with this. And I think one of the keys with the basic t-shirts, iron them. Yeah. Like when they're oh, ironed and pressed, oh. yes. yes. And I love actually like a a, fa a fancier dress that isn't overly starched and ironed. Yeah, but the basics you like that. Yeah. Yeah, the t-shirts yeah. iron. Yeah. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna set the bag up now here. 
because I want you to know this is just not a magic trick. We are literally taking the <laughs> And you know, this bag doesn't even have an expandable thing. Like, I really... Yeah, yeah. No, it's so cool. Arrimo a classe di Partiamo con i basic. Sorry, I'm doing another live on my phone, so it's gonna be weird because I look at this. Partiamo con i basic, ok? Le t-shirt. Ci siamo, perché ci siamo. And then, so the, yeah, so the basics literally... The key thing is I pack everything flat in the suitcase. Ah. So that is, ah, um, okay. and this was my husband's trick because he lived in Asia for ever and in Frankfurt, London, and Paris, and okay. Hong Kong, and Kuala Lumpur, and Singapore. <laughs> okay. So, so a was, couple of short sleeves, one long sleeve. One thing. Yes. Two so things. what I don't, when you're packing t-shirts, even though they're all cotton t-shirts, high neck, yeah. low neck, sleeveless, yeah. long sleeve, don't repeat necklines and arm shapes. Ah, okay. So okay. this all way, the options, all yeah. the options. Okay. This way you but in basic it. colors, so gray, white, and a ring three color. Yeah. The new jewels. Yes. Um, then the next thing is, I'm gonna go through. Um, they're like they're like joy, joy, yeah. joy in friends. You 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 had a, all on you when you left. Is <laughs> that um, possible? Okay, so the next thing that I'm packing are things that I can wear for working out mm -hmm. when I because in uh, Capra everything is mm -hmm. walking over mountains mm -hmm. and down. So these are things that I can wear when working out. Yeah. But they are also things that are kind of quirky yeah. to wear, yeah. like if I'm in uh, Berlin, yep. for instance, right? Yep. Like in Berlin, I'm going to wear this t-shirt, and then I'm going to mix it with like the jacket and the pair of pants. Okay. So this becomes my Berlin or my Antwerp. I'm walking around with my head of design, yep. which is design. Casual, but nice. Exactly. So... Berlin, mm -hmm. and then... Quindi vestiti per la ginnastica, che però diventano anche un po' strani da indossare tutti i giorni. Then for Cap Ferrat, I'm hiking in yeah. the morning, and I'm just wearing like this little mm -hmm. pair of shorts, mm -hmm. and this. So now this is Cap Ferrat. With sneakers. And then when I was in Milan for market, mm -hmm. it was this with just a very low tank top, closed up, okay. and then this, and this was my like suit that got me through, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like a full day. So Milan style, Berlin style, and then Cap Ferrat. Yeah. The good thing about your clothes though, about TV clothes, is that they're so versatile, they can really be casual, but at the same time, fasting, cheap, and wear it for the gym. Yeah, because... Like this has a waistband and it's elastic. Exactly. Me as an Italian, I'm like, no. But yes, because with a blazer, it's perfect. With a blazer, but also... And with a t-shirt, it's perfect as well, just in a different way. But I want to know about shoes. But also... Which shoes do you wear with these in a meeting, and which shoes do you wear with these in a meeting? Okay, so in... Because um, these make it Exactly. So for me, because it's summertime, uh -huh. this is where for Berlin and for... Uh, Milan. Okay, easy. Easy, this. yeah. So, so, but the difference is when you're wearing a sandal, yeah. that the upper and the base are the same color, yeah. it's much more refined. Yeah, sure. So you can sure, absolutely sure, sure, wear sure. this for business. Sure. But if this was like a totally different color, well, I'll show you. Yeah. So the Louis Bay sandals, I love. I'm and okay, I have these yeah. Much more casual. Yeah. So this can function casually for sure, and but then be dressier. This one really lands more casually. And don't you think it's because of the yes color of the color of the shirt? Not because they're different, but just the color of tan is more. You know. Tan is more casual for sure. I um. Uh, Capito. Sarah, is there a ring three? Sono questi vestiti sono facilmente replicabili anche di altri brand. 
Yeah, sorry, that's what I meant to say. Um, but yeah, this tan color is more casual, okay. and I find like the darker neutrals, or what we call those to be green three colors, yeah. tend to get a little more refined and dark. Do, do you want to remind them which one you Yeah, this is, um, so this is the color. <gasps> do we have any extra packs of the color wheel? Uh, yes. Okay, okay I'm um, going to give you a pack to give I'll to you. Before she oh, I love the color wheel. This is a theory that has been developed in How are combined the colors? And I mentioned to people too that Walk Store has these now, and you can go pick oh, them up. Um, okay, so in the color wheel, these are your primary colors, ring one and two. Those are your very saturated neutrals, so black, gray, browns that you would find at like Brunello Cuccinelli or mm -hmm. Ralph Lauren, right? Mm -hmm. And then ring four, the outer rings, these are your very bright colors. And what we find is that most people, when they get a closet of too much black and white, and I have to be honest, our conversation here three years ago is what made me really think about this because when we were talking, the people that came to see us, they were so stuck in black and white and then maybe yeah. tan. Yeah. And then to get out of their stuckness, yeah. they brought in bright red bright yellow, bright orange, and it was very harsh, uh, yeah, yeah, very yeah, harsh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and so what happens is if you bring in these ring three colors, these strange neutrals, you'll see that, you know, already. cioè capito, se voi avete tutto l'armadio bianco e nero ci buttate dentro il rosso, se voi avete tutto l'armadio bianco e nero ci buttate dentro questi colorini che stanno bene sempre insieme e col bianco e col nero e tra di loro, fate dei look basici, Facili di colore. Basici di colore. So, I'll show like this nylon skirt yeah. is in a ring three. Yeah. And ring three means you can't describe the color. Yeah. It's greenish, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. grayish. Yeah. And you can see if you're wearing a bright red shoe. Yeah. With the ring three, it makes it very chic yeah. and sophisticated. Yeah. And Are you wearing these? In the city also? I did, but I have to say, my heel got really gross and dirty. So okay. I just wore them one time and then I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. But you can see like red and white together, It's it becomes... It's very flesh, no? Yeah, mm. and, and a little yeah. more basic feel, yeah, yeah. right? So... Yeah. You know, I thought about this, about it this morning. I didn't want to do the white. Yeah. But I didn't know what else. I, uh, because it's a lot. But do you ever think like blue? Yeah, I just want to see like what yeah. a navy blue is. Yeah. I started to be like it's tough. And but the ring three colors are usually the same for everyone. Yeah. But like yeah. just like a navy blue yeah. can be really yeah. Yeah. like yeah. It's really, you know, bringing yeah. up the colors and nice. makes it like one more color. So, navy blue t shirts are. Like, actually, okay. I'm just gonna. So, what are we saying? We yeah, have it's another... just this. Oh. See? Yeah, nice. The navy blue. Yeah, yeah. And a deep navy. So, it's not matchy matchy too much? Yeah. <clears throat> and it's not color, and yeah. I didn't know what to wear, so I had to put white. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure Which is green. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so, okay. okay. All right. So, so we had a look for Milan, a look for Berlin, a look for the sport. Exactly. And so I'm going to put this yeah. in. And <laughs> then, um, because I do plan on getting good exercise and calf broad, yeah. I brought in, you know, one more tee, or a few more tees, but I want to show you different ideas for the t shirts. So, yeah. If I also want to layer them with like a skirt, yeah. because I brought like our just easy slip skirt. Bellissima. So easy. So I'll nice. wear this a yeah. lot in Antwerp and Berlin. Yes. And in Antwerp and Berlin, I have to walk so much with Tracy. We're going to museums, everything. Yeah. So for me... Have you been already? No. I can't wait. I can't wait. I see. I can't wait. Um, I'll wear our sneakers yes. a lot, and then I brought these to wear, and I, yeah, my yeah. feet are going to get a little dirty, okay. but 
uh, with the sleeve skirt and allora the problem with the sleeve skirts I have one exactly like yeah. not exactly but similar to this is that I put it on and then I wear a top like this and then it's too slim. You and I feel basic. Right, but but here's the thing. If you um, I'm gonna go off wear... camera, I'm gonna put on a skinny top though. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Just um... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What what can I say? I agree. La ruota a colori a Milano è da walk, ma c'è sul sito di TV. È sul sito di TV. So, lo sanno, lo sanno. Yeah. This is, you know, for summertime, the third piece is the t-shirt. Or, a, you know, something that has, you can tie it easily, mm -hmm. but it's not too thick and chunky. Just to make another layer. Or just to give that extra layer. An extra dimension. Yeah, this creates like the different uh, interesting proportions. Uh, 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 and, you know, you can just. But I also like what you had before, the long t shirt with that. Yeah, it's, you know, just easy options. Long t shirt out. This is an easy cheap. But you would not wear a skinny top with this skirt. It's not you. I feel basic. It's not you, yeah. yeah. I would have to really lean on very strange yeah, shoes yeah, and earrings yeah, to yeah. to compensate for yeah. it, you know? Um, and actually, let me get this off because I feel very basic. <laughs> <laughs> and Come this is terrible feeling, I hate that. I understand. Come dice Matti, quando avete il look troppo basico, orecchini, accessori, pezzi, scarpe con un altro cosa. But yeah, but the colorful shoes cannot be, as we said before, if you wear a total black outfit and you want to wear a very colorful shoe, which shoe would you wear? Not that. An all black outfit with a colorful shoe? Mm -hmm. Would you do it? I think that for me, if the shoe has texture, mm -hmm. I, I'll just show you quickly yeah. behind you. I have one of our uh, new. This is. Because uh, when I wear black, I love to be all black, I have to say. I feel I feel more safe. Yeah, I think like I lean on jewels and things like that. Oh, but wow. this is from our new resort <laughs> collection. Okay. So if I'm wearing all black here, yeah. and then I have on this great. This, <laughs> yeah. this great shoe. This makes a difference. Like it's so I think it's the texture. Yeah. The worst, the worst with all black. Yeah. Even if it's in a bright color, the worst is like all black. And then if you have a shoe that is just a clean Napa leather, yeah, that is very basic. I mean, you will feel yeah. Like I don't, I don't like to say it is basic because if you don't feel basic, then no, it's yeah, not. No, of course, of course. But, but you feel basic. It is. So the, the maybe the if I don't want to wear colors, the, the thing that I have to keep in mind is texture, texture yeah. and volume, and I have to play with something else. Let's say. Yeah, mm -hmm. I bought like the one shoe I did buy um, in February was. Nice. The Muni shoe, nice. and I always buy a jeweled shoe. Like my everyone on my team laughs at me. I can't help it. But <laughs> this is something that you know when you have a lot of all black in your closet. Yes, yeah. nice. Yeah. You've got yeah. one thing that can just lift. How do you it. wear this? Because this is not daytime, but this is not nighttime, but this is not. This I, is the, the, but that's the beauty of it. I know, I know. I think that's what Prada does really well. I know, I know. I think Loewe, Balenciaga, yeah. they take yeah. very everyday things. And they make it so that you can wear it at any time, really. Um, because you don't care. Because you know, people, especially Italians, we do care. Yeah, yeah it's like it's yes. too much yes. for daytime. And but I'm sure somebody would tell me it's too much. Yeah, but I think like you this skirt, the and then I'm wearing like. Um, oh no, raga, me la mettereste con i brillanti? Sono sicura che qualcuno. Like to me, this just. Yeah, nice. And when it becomes too much is all of a sudden if I'm wearing the blue and this, yeah. then I've got the cup. Your eye doesn't know where to look. Yeah. And when I talk about one ton or none, yeah. it's the idea that your eye goes to one place. Yeah. So I think that's why like for you when you were wearing the print, you just want the eye to focus there, right? Yeah. Like you wouldn't if you had a top that had ruffles or stuff, it would be like, Am I on ruffles? Where am I? So one ton or none says that like you're wearing something. If I'm wearing this, your eye goes right to my shoe. Yeah. You know, one place. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. 
So for the workout t-shirts that can also double with the clothing uh, suits and everything, I've just got yeah. a range of all different little t-shirts. Okay. Um, then, I think this will be easy to jump into. In Cap Ferrata, even though it's super casual and we're going to be eating at home a lot, we're going to also be going out and then the places that we go out will have some different vibes to it. Yeah. So um, when I'm packing the different dresses for Cap Ferrata, I think about how each one is really serving a very different purpose. Yeah. So I've got one that is perfect for Monaco, and I'll wear a black uh, bikini underneath this. Oh. But I'll wear a high-waisted bottom yeah. Uh, yeah. bikini top. Like to the beach or to town? This will be worn to Monaco out at night mm -hmm. for dinner. Okay. And then it'll have a sheer moment, and I will, because of all the lace and everything, I think I'll just go simple mm -hmm. with the sandal, mm -hmm. and then that will be, Monaco dinner. Okay. Okay. Then, yeah, people are like, I wouldn't wear jewelry shoes. Yeah, the jewelry because the jewelry is too much with the lace. No, no, they wouldn't in general. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're wrong because they really, I don't want to say elevate because it's better, but they I'm do cool. elevate with the outfit. And I think. But they're flat, so it's not like a you know jewelry heel, which is flat. I think that. So. Whatever it is for you, whether it's jewels, feathers, whatever, mm. it's about giving a little friction yeah. to your outfit yeah. so that things don't feel so flat. Yeah. And so that's where you don't have to think like, oh, I must have jewels. It's like, what can I put on that will just be a little strange and odd with what I'm wearing? Um, okay, so, yeah. so the latest, so these were, I show the latest really flat. So, all I do is just fold over one okay. Okay. So this is not daytime, it's evening right. in, uh, in Monaco. With the bikini, high-waisted, so you're not yes. going to make it underneath. Exactly. And so, flat shoes. This is easy. It's an easy dress, very light, lightweight. And that's the thing that is five. Because. And to take pieces that are kind of complicated and fabric yeah. and very then mm -hmm. simple in shape. Yeah. And then these like boy briefs underneath it. Yeah. Um, then this dress is one of my favorites. Yeah, let's see. And it's got the back cut out, the sleeves can go up. But for this you need the light on. Huh? You you have the light on there. Yeah, I'm gonna this, this, uh, it'll get a little bit yeah. wrinkled. Um, and then oh, nice. this is where I'll wear oh, this. Oh, and this will be dinner at Hotel du Cap nice. on their lawn. Which bag? And which bag? I think, um, oh, no, I know which bag. So this one. Because it's not fun games until you think about the bags, I'm telling you. This bags. one is so perfect for packing. And I don't know the brand. My son's got it for me for Christmas from this store, on Marie's in the US. But you just slip this through here. Yes. And then. Oh, you go. So this is really interesting because I have to say Italians would never think about this because we are so obsessed with the matching shoes and bags. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. I always tell my followers, please don't, don't go matchy matchy. Yeah. It's nice. The, the, let's call it the theory that you go almost the same color as the dress, but slightly off. Yeah, slightly yeah. off, and so you don't match anything, but still. And really, it's again one ton or none. Yeah because when you see this, again, your eye is going right to the black shoe. And it doesn't mean the rest of the outfit isn't amazing, yeah. it is. But your eye should land in one place. If I'm looking, I'm like, I, yeah. I don't if know If it was I'm none, going. we would wear shoes that are, like, let's say, yeah. Even just yeah. like the yeah. little clear, yeah. 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 you I know. Love the non I love yeah. Okay. okay. So this, I'm No, no, if I have a steel step, you need a mic, you need them. I, yeah, you, you, cannot pack, you, you cannot pack that much and then not pack that much. But I'm going to show you guys here. I try and pack. When you lay it flat, it comes out yeah, yeah. really like but a baby one. But the thing is, you move many times. It's not that you're out in a place and you hang everything. You move so the things that get trash. Things uh, exactly. Like See, it's difficult to 
you know, my screen day or getting it. But I do um, no, the trick in the shower. Yeah, I was about to say, you hang it, you put it yeah. in the bathroom while you're doing the shower, and the steam from the shower will a bit iron. Yeah. A bit. A bit. Okay, then um, this kind of simple dress, this is the Miyake. And I mean, these are so easy. Yeah. So they don't get wrinkled. They they're perfect, lightweight. So one of the keys for packing. Which shoes did you wear with this? Uh, is blue. Yeah. Blue is so difficult to move. Oh, nice. Yes, 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 yes. So I think um, when I look for reds, this red is in a little more of a ring three. Mm -hmm. It's a darker mm -hmm. brown mm -hmm. undertones, and so yeah. this to me is I'm so sure, simple. sure, 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 absolutely sure. So many people would have said, I don't know, why shoes? Yeah. Or black shoes, I'm sure. Oh, no, because yeah. it's, it becomes very um, um, practical. You told me once, no, blue no, no, red no. and white becomes nautical. It does. It does. It's it really, it's like a sailor. Yes. And, yeah. Yes. So. No, um, il blu col bianco e rosso diventa subito marinaretto. Troppo letterale. This is your dinner, dinner time, my time. Okay, yeah, sure. that's, that dress is so, and farmer's market. So I think that's what, you know, when you're thinking about what can you just throw on to yeah. go get coffee, Easy. go to the farmer's market. We a just dress, a skirt, yes. It's so easy, the little clear shoes. These, so are, these are fantastic because this is, this is no color. Exactly. So It's yeah. invisible, invisible shoes. Yeah. It's um, a job. So again, this is like for farmer's market. Yeah. Which shoes would you wear with that? Because that is more feminine, not feminine, like more people feel traditional. Okay, so for this, I found that si, è tutto tipo. one moment was wearing like oh. the little Mew Mew boat shoe. Oh. And this is where is a lot, huh? I talk a lot about antonyms, mm -hmm. putting on the opposite. So if you feel cute, yeah. if you feel too, too cute, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then this keeps it down. Mm -hmm. So for me, if I wore a sneaker, yeah. I feel too tennis player. Yeah. Right. Um, the jewels are too much. The jewels, jewels are too, are too much. much. This is. I okay. I would wear this. Yeah. And I, I would. Oh. Yeah. And I think this would. Um, but it really is for me. It's either this or this. Okay. Yeah. And I'm, I'm really hard because I don't. I don't want my legs at all. And so these don't have that. They they serve a purpose sometimes. Yeah. But I'm not they wearing don't them have very them. much. No. <laughs> yeah. Then they don't help with the legs. No, 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 no. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. So no uh Um okay, this I live in always. And this is something that for yeah. a simple packing, yeah, the nice silk dress. dress yeah. But what is great is it that is brown. the chocolate brown. Yeah, bellissimo. I love chocolate brown for this. Yes, one. love it. So this so is black is not great. It's more oh yeah, with it. yeah. And you so mix good. it with red. You and then it also I love brown and black Me together. Too. I love it. Yes. So yes. if I'm we're going out to dinner or something, just these three neutrals together yeah. look really Bad, really yeah. interesting. Brown, black, and red, and the beige. Yeah. And then I also pack. Do you know what? Do you know a thing that Italians do a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot? <coughs> Cute dress, girly dress, it's sneakers. But ugly. It's not ugly in a, in, a, in a fashion way, ugly, just ugly. And I'm like, girls, you think that you're making it more. Ironic. Say, yes, but it's not. You yeah. say it all the time in your stories. I think when it. <coughs> Because there's sneakers and sneakers, like these sneakers yeah. are different. Like yeah. you can wear these with a dress, not blue, not, yeah. not red, but you can. Yeah, it's it's got the refined like, soul to it. Oh, with a skirt and the legs. Yeah, I'm person. Uh, I know. I mean, there's so many. You know, like uh, our models will walk into a showroom and they've got on like very slouchy sweatpants. Yeah, of course, but they are so like, tall. Okay, hey, like, is it the shoe or the model? Is that? Um, 
So if you have rights in your closet, is nice. this is where, you know, wearing them with this chocolate brown yeah. versus with the black, the black is quite harsh, okay. it's a different look, mm -mm, but mm -mm. this becomes a more interesting. Then when we talk about ton, yeah. the idea of like really wearing interesting colors together, Lando. these three together become very interesting and it gives lots of depth. Nice. And if you're wearing the brown and the mint and the red, my eye just lands on the whole outfit. Yeah. I'm not necessarily yeah. going to yeah. one of these. It just so it's still you land in one place, yeah. which is really this nice. is this is hard. This is level uh, advanced it's, level. <laughs> it is hard. <laughs> um, the two things that people tell me change everything for them is figuring out the bring three colors yeah. into their closet, and then figuring out bringing in the texture. Yes, adding te texture. Absolutely. No, but this is amazing because you look at this and there's the black and white and the brown and you see immediately that it wouldn't make sense to pair like the red with the black, but you would to wear the, I don't know, the other day I had brown pants, orange shoes, yeah. a black top yeah. and light blue black. Oh, and it all looked, yeah, I thought, it I thought it worked. And it was like the good tone. Yeah. Um, so this too, again, like just having... This still brings bring two and three. Mm -hmm. And so, um, actually you're bringing two ring threes. Yeah. Ring three, ring three, and yeah. then a ring four. Four, ring yes, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Vero, che interessante. And this is where, you know, if you stop thinking in terms of outfits and start thinking in terms of tools, yeah. how, how are these going to work for you? It's, yeah. The, uh, people are asking, so you don't wear heels? I There's no heel. No, I, I think that for me on vacation, mm -hmm. yeah. it's an ease that I want to have. Yeah. And, yeah. and I can. And and another, another thing that I have to say about Italians, they are obsessed with the height and the weight and everything, and so they were, I'm sure everybody will be like, but I'm not tall enough to wear flat shoes. Which is a thing I don't believe in because no. look at the guys. I I was with a woman in Washington D.C. She was a very high powered lawyer, and she is about five foot one, so much no, it's like right there. Mm -hmm. And she told know. me she said I feel she said I don't like wearing heels, but she said when I go into a meeting and it's all men. Like I don't like looking up at them, and so if I wear a really high heel, yeah. I'm more on their eye level. And I told her, I said, okay, so maybe that makes you feel a little stronger, but if you really hate wearing heels, yeah, it shows. It and, shows. Oh, it's and you're incredible. uncomfortable, yeah. then the ease that you have standing there like this will make you way more confident than any confidence that that heel will give you. And because it also keeps things from going trashy. Yeah. You know, so yeah. like when you're wearing a dress that has like yeah. this cut out detail. Yeah, too this, eh? this is where, classic. you know, yeah, so classic. this, yeah. right? With heels, it's a whole different outfit, yeah. yeah. So different, yeah. totally different vibe and everything. Yeah. Capito, no? Con le scarpe piatte è tutto un po' più um, okay, so already we've got the farmer's market yeah. dress, the sporty dress, the, the lazy time. dress that is for Monaco. We've got the kind of sexier dress, but I'm just going to wear flat, and that yeah. means I can wear it out by the water, by the boats, in Cap Bra, and I won't be overdressed. Yeah. And then this is just purely like an eased out, like. This will be dinner by the water mm -hmm. again, mm -hmm. and it's got pockets, it. and um, and then you know this nice wearing pink, a pink, pink and red. red. I love it. Pink so and red and yeah, so pretty. Which bag? Um, See the green one. I'm gonna go with this again because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, you know what everybody would think. Me me included black black bag, but I hate, I hate pink and black. Oh, pink and, pink and black and pink and gray for some reason bother me. So 
this is, yes. Nice. Baby, people are like, I would, I would love to be chic, but I'm too short. This is not a, this is not a, you know, I think against you. I really recommend everyone, when you watch our lives, Sarah, who's my brand director. Yeah, she, she's so tiny, but she's tiny. tiny. And she, she, if she wears a heel, it's only because she thinks it's a funny, cool shoe. Yeah. She doesn't wear it to be taller. Yeah. Ninety percent of the time, she will absolutely be in the bar. A little bit inside, it's not bad. I always think about Zoe Kravitz, one of the actors. Yes. She's so tiny. No, she's perfect. When I look at her. And also, you know, when you wear a really high heel, the proportion of the no, but also the legs, because your legs are big. Let's say short because mm -hmm. you are short, yeah. and the heel is high. It, it's bizarre to look it, at. It sometimes. puts you in third. Yes, it puts you in third. Bro, yeah, half, yeah, yeah. half, half. That's what I think. No, no, no. And and then it changes your body. Yeah. And so as a designer, we work off of croakings. You know, you sketch sometimes off of a croaking, and it really pisses me off because if you go into Google and you search for croakings, every croaking. Yeah, it's always with the. Yes. So I find that I have to go and get men's croquis mm -hmm. in order to sketch mm -hmm. someone standing like this. Yes. Like so. Yeah. What they they ask? What about belts? So I have one belt with me. I brought this one. And so when I'm in Caprod, I will put it. At the moment, we have just dresses, so yeah. we don't really. Need yeah, but when I'm in Berlin, yeah, I think, and in Milan here, when things were, um, if anything started to feel too slouchy, mm -hmm. you put this belt on. Mm -hmm. So again, the antonym, the opposite. Yeah. If you're feeling a little too easy, this is risky and difficult. Did the Italian tell you about our session, our obsession with the waist? How everybody puts a belt on everything? Did they tell you already? Did That's you notice? So rude. <laughs> why? It's an obsession. I don't know people, why. people. It's <laughs> but on things that are not supposed to be having the belt from, you know. And I, I just, I think that I'm so scared of it that I never wear belts. I'm afraid I will mess it up. I think that I wear a belt when there's no need to wear the belt. So, you know, like if it's just mm -hmm. an easy pant and mm -hmm. you're looking again as a tool of a little bit of hardware, accessories, a little bit of. Same, 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 um, same, same, but remember, same. so if you are obsessed with showing the waist, same. simple things like, um, you know, remember, take your hair tie, of course, tie it up, and then. This um, is my streak, huh? And then just tuck it under. Yeah. And so there, the wider shirt now has like an interesting proportion, and you know you can do that. And then you've got your waist. This is a nice trick. But I I talk a lot about um, big slim skin. Yeah. When <laughs> that kind of like wonky angle. Somebody asks, I have big breasts. You can see the bra from all the clothes. So <laughs> one of my things that I do when, um, especially for traveling to the relaxed locales, wear a bathing suit as a Bikini, I was about to say, yeah. Bikini. That really, really works. Bikini, yeah. Um, and then, because then you just show, show it. Now, I did bring these, and our larger breasted employees swear by this as well. So, these are what you use to like, yeah, they not stick show them up. and ah, so you have a scotch, don't you? Yeah, hey. so it you put it there no. and then you use this to lift it up and it totally stays in the heat. No oh, ragazzi. And nude. I just ordered them online like I was like influence on TikTok, but um but I've heard from those with bigger ribs that they work. Okay. So this I love to wear with like a little so like with this dress yeah that's something that i'll wear this but okay okay the savior to think about when you are dressing for summer yeah and no one believes me until you wear it is these sporty nylons 
And there, there are ways that, like, when you're wearing this dress, but it's in sporty nylon, you can be at the farmer's market and you're walking sure. around with this and this. And even and if I would cool. consider it a nighttime dress, because of the material, uh, it's, it makes uh, it much yeah. more versatile. Yeah. But would you ever wear this with the black simple sandals? Or is mm -hmm. No, I would. I think that, so if I were, um, if I were going out to dinner in, uh, in Hebra, I would wear this and this, and then I would throw this over the shoulders. Okay. And the key to keep the ease when you're wearing this dress, you keep the ease by putting the jacket only on the shoulders. Yes. You yeah. never put your arms through. Otherwise it looks like you're going to the office. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly how that feels. So, so. Blazers are difficult. Yeah. Uh, difficult, but a safety for life. So now we've got this 49 on dress, the fancy dress. And then I've got... I still cannot believe that all of these are I know. But I trust you. I, honestly, like if I... I know this is all I came with. So I, these, I these dresses are so smart, then. Huh? Yeah. They are all very tiny and lightweight and uh, they serve oh, so multiple nice. sort of purposes. And this is where... Like, oh, yeah, nice. And this is something like for Berlin. Nice. If I have like a gray sweater tied around my waist, mm. the white sneaker, this is how Bad you can be door. doing the darker Berlin colors, smart. but you're still very bare and you know, it's it's warm out during the day, but you've got the sweater that you can throw to keep over your shoulders. Mind. Yeah, black long dress, white sneakers, but slim ones, and gray sweater. And the other great right. thing too is, yeah. when you put on a sweater, you know, I showed you the rubber band trick, but you also, like, right when you put it on your head, you have so many different ways of just wearing it that you don't have to go all the way, you know, so, just simply stopping right there and just doing this, mm -hmm. you know, gives you mm -hmm. just a little bit of warmth. And then you can put it on and then just leave it here okay. and have it be a shrug. And then just keep going further down. You know, okay. you don't, people tend to say, oh, this sweater can be worn this way because it's this length. But I love, Thinking of clothing is so easy that you can just manipulate it. Yeah. And when brands are the type of brands that they had so many ideas, but it's all baked in, so you can't change it at all. Yeah, I understand. It's it it bothers me because I'm like it doesn't give me enough room to play. Okay, so we're gonna put in the slip dress. Okay. They ask, how would you how would you pair? The a black leather blazer, a black leather blazer. Um, for the summertime, it really would be like over the over the slip dress at the most. Okay. Like if I'm in Antwerp. Yeah. Over the slip dress, but then I would probably balance it out with a very light sandal. Yeah. Nothing close to it for sure. Yeah. In fact, I really don't wear that kind of slip dress with. A close toe, except maybe a ballerina type. Mm. Mm. Um, okay. okay, so that's it for the dresses. Yeah. And then I wear a lot of skirts. So again, the sporty nylon. And what's great too is when you have longer skirts, you can tie this up in a knot mm -hmm. here, and it just becomes a shorter skirt. Do you wear this with a t-shirt? I wear it with the. Like I love it here. Just going very full on okay. with the longer shirt and then with ah. the long sleeve and the longer skirt balancing That's it out. So easy, I wouldn't yeah. expect this. So easy. Um, and then it's bright white, so I tend to wear it with some of the colors that I have that, you know, gray, the Ring 3 colors yes. to tone it down. But Would you wear it with a spaghetti strap top or is too much? I, if it's very I would because the, the beauty of this is the shape is in the bottom. Yes. So this is not a slip skirt. Exactly. It has it's a bit of a volume. volume. So when we talk about like big slim skin, mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. big is in the shape mm -hmm. and then your slim here and then you've got the bare skin. Okay. 
Capito? Quando c'è un po' di volume, magari dopo vi mettete la canottierina semplice per fare un po' di base. Parla della città in base alle attività, ma anche della città com'è. Tibi. Tibi, tibi. And then uh, this sheer look, so like this, is I'll wear this out to dinner in yes. either Berlin or Antwerp. And yet, and again, with the this not, it does not wrinkle too much. And then Seriously. here in Milan now, yeah. going out, I can wear it with this blazer closed up. Yes. Okay, so I wear the blazer as if it is a top. Nice. So very open, closed up, and then nice. with the sheer skirt coming out. These blazers are so intelligent because they have no shoulder pads, yeah. they have no, you know, shape like office, yeah. office shape. So they are like a cardigan, let's say, but of course 10 times more refined. So, like, and, yeah. sometimes I'll take a safety pin yeah. and put it right there. Yeah. So, like, last night for dinner, I wore this blazer and then this skirt with just a bike short mm -hmm. underneath it and then the flat sandal. Then, so, you've got blue, blue, black. all of this kind of sexiness. Yes. Yeah. But, you're wearing a blazer. but this is, yeah. Okay. And you're wearing a flat. So if you had worn this with a fitted top and a high heel, uh, yeah. no. Yeah. But all those options can be in your closet. It's just about how you combine them. Yeah. So yeah. what happens is some people think like, oh, I don't want to be a super sexy dresser, so I'll never buy this kind of top. Yeah. And then you end up buying everything either oversized or you're very, you like being sexier, so you think everything that you buy should be really tight when really like this and then your sexy item this yes. is what gives yeah, you the yeah. style and the class what would you wear yeah, from day night from daytime to nighttime if you knew you had i don't know to work and mm -hmm. then be like so one thing that um i love that i've already worn here is this little jumper. Mm -hmm. So this is truly just like a trouser dress. Um, it's just a trouser dress. And then you mix it with mm -hmm. this little black t-shirt. Okay. And then you drop it down and it becomes a skirt. Mm -hmm. So then this is a skirt and then with the skinny black sandal. Una gonna lunga pencil con un top e dei sandali sottili. So that's, you know, that's one option. Now this yes. is something very specific. This right? is, again, no, but a long skirt like this, like a pencil, let's say pencil, with a top which is very casual and nice shoes, it's fine. Exactly. Um, Maybe not to the office, because in offices in Italy you cannot really wear headphones. The bare. Yeah. 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 So maybe I try with also just having the jacket around oh, is yeah, yeah, easy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so for me, you know, I talk about those easy jackets. So just even like this is just wearing a shirt, yeah. a big shirt, mm -hmm. and then like mm -hmm. even doing like a little bow tie, and then the black mm -hmm. nylon trouser. So if you're daytime. But then, for night, going out to dinner the other night, I wore this as a top again. So closed up with this, and then a little bare sandal. Yeah. And then this is where, um, don't forget how to find the jewelry. Anyways, a big earring. Yeah. Like just something like put yeah. on a big earring to dress and you up a bit. All of a sudden yeah. you're in a different mindset. Yeah. Oh, you can wear prints and flowers and crazy prints, of course. It's just not your thing, but Well and but to be honest, it is my thing. Like I love I love your pants. And I love it when a print is this is a medical dog. It I don't is, know what the original look was, but... So I think that 
for prints, I always tell people when they are in a fabrication that is icky, mm -hmm. like very mm -hmm. strange, or something glossy, yeah, yeah. or something sculptural, yeah. it gives it more guts. Of course. This I, print in a normal, let's say, silk, skirt, skirt lovely, you know, balloon. Skirt, you know, totally different. Grandma. And that's where I think, you know, when you see Prada, when you see Balenciaga, yeah. they take the yeah, prints yeah, yeah. and they do them it's in such a strange way. Yeah. It just, you know, yeah, yeah. and so, yes, I love the prints, but strange. It's a bit too much match, yeah? Too much. But I think too, you know, for options like with what you're wearing, having an eased out maybe blue sweater mm -hmm. is such a way to like, yeah. you know, just take it down. Um, then I also pack, this is what I pack for um, Cat Parad is really big shirts. So when I'm going to the pool side, oh, so yeah, let's yeah. say, yes. You know, you know that in Italy it's a thing to buy stuff appositely for the seaside, like it's called copri costume, it's something that you specifically, specifically buy to go to the seaside, to the pool side, and it's like dresses or stuff, but they look so, you know, made for that, that it's a bit too much, like you're overdressed for the pool. Yes, too much. <laughs> and what happens is that if your style is quite modern and chill, Classic, then the things that are made for seaside are usually either very bohemian, exactly, Isabel right? Mara style, exactly, mm -hmm. or they're very preppy. Very so preppy, yes. Palm Beach, like yes. really Pulitzer. Yes, yes, yes. And so I always struggle Me at too. the beach. Me yeah. too. So this is where I found like if you have the little bikini here yeah. and then you just take. This simple skirt, yes. And you, your simple wrap skirt, this and this. And what's great is, so this skirt can be, you know, it's, it's a head to toe ah, outfit yeah. that I would wear. But it's my, yeah. You know, and this I would wear to farmer's market yeah. to dinner, right? But when you're poolside, you don't have to tie it up. The, you know, the wrap skirt goes all the way around, but if you're literally by the pool, and you're just jumping up to go get a drink, and you've got your bikini on, then you can remember, just, yeah, yeah. just, just yeah. do this, yeah. and then that way, yeah. you don't have to be yeah. so more careful. covered you put the shirt. And then this, yeah, and when I put the shirt on here, this is where like I'll roll up the sleeves mm -hmm. all the way up mm -hmm. here, check, check. and just make it very casual. Yeah. People are like, what if I want to hide my boobs? What if, if I want to hide my belly? What if I want to hide my arms? Okay, so that same skirt, for sure. I love the little wrap skirt with just the one piece. The one piece. Yeah, it's always chic. The nice. one piece. Um, another option is... Per le braccia a camice, invece la You know, with the nylon trousers, again, you can roll these up quite high and wear them low, and then with this, mm -hmm. and this becomes mm -hmm. another okay. easy beach cover up. But these nylon trousers are great because I'll wear them with, like, this is what I'll probably wear in the car when I'm going to travel today. I'll wear this, mm -hmm. this, and a t shirt. Yeah. Just very simple and, fun. and easy, and a pair of samples. Okay, so I'm going to pack the t-shirt. And this becomes the thing too, when you're just laying around the house, like this and this and then the t-shirt. This is your, um, I have a lot of writing, reading I want to do. Those are the things I'll do, wear. Um, then, this is for uh, probably 
I'm going to wear this in as when I get up in the morning and this will be the thing that I get my coffee in. Oh yeah, this is a thing. The coffee yeah, outfit. This is a thing, the coffee outfit. I, I always think about this. You pack stuff to go to work, to go to meetings, to go to, you know, to the sea. Yeah. And then you wake up, you're in the hotel, you're like, what am I going to wear? Yes. I cannot wear the... You don't want a full fancy. line yeah. Bohemian beach dress. Yeah. You don't want to wear a look that there's heels or something, you want to be easy yes. and comfortable. And you need something for that. And this is something that, like, when you're packing, it, it can be just one pair of pants for that tween time. Like, sure, sure, sure. Take this, and then you can mix it with different tops each time. But it's got all the slouch and the ease, and, yeah. you know, you want to just... I mean, I feel like thing. people would wear a sweat... What's the name of it? Sweat... Sweat, sweat suit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the thing is... It's an alternative. It's an But... But the thing is, is I want a sweatsuit that has enough polish that if I want to wear it at night, I could wear it with a blazer, but not in a total, like, Hailey Bieber ironic exactly. way. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. In a way that looks yeah, right. That and, nice. Or that feels right. And, um, who knows who you're, you're going to bump into, huh? You're in the hall of your hotel and you get yes. a lot of your life and you're in a sweatsuit. And, but the, and, the, and the thing is, is I don't want to be in that sweatsuit in my head. It's, yeah, you know, it's, yeah. Um, it's just about how, so, like, this is why we did these lightweight sweatsuiting mm -hmm. pants, because it's cut in this style that just completely drapes, and you, it's very purposeful. Yeah. So, Which one? I love this. Um, a sweater. Um, okay. There's a little gray sweater, and then I'm going to put on a sandal. And so, you yeah, know, just. Yeah, to be too, I'm going to the gym. Just putting this on together yeah. is sit, put together. Sit, sit, sit. Okay, so okay. I'm going to put in the sweatpants. Um, this also is light enough that um, <laughs> like, if I'm just sitting around by the house or by the pool, it's light enough that you could, you know, wear mm -hmm. the little bikini with it. Or if you were going to the grocery store, mm -hmm. you could take the very lightweight nice. denim and roll up the sleeves. Oh, I love this. The little... I love this. Right? Yeah. 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 Run into town. You basically you have a hundred outfits in this. So many outfits. <laughs> I swear. So many outfits. Um, yes, because each thing that I've packed okay. should really be able to go in so many multiple ways. Yeah. Do you need a charger? I have one. Yeah. Uh, and... You know, guys, the way that I'm packing is really, it's a way to think about your closet as well because, you know, your closet, you want to have all the different textures in it. You want to have the colors that give you dimension and can be worn in different ways and create different moods depending on how you combine them. Um, Jeffrey Campbell, i sandali di plastica. So, the nylon trousers being such a savior for me, I also love them. This is a ring three color this as is well. This is great. And this color great. is one that, like where navy blue would be quite strong mm -hmm. and sporty, but like when you're wearing this and this together, it's you know, the good ring three, but then if you mix it with like a little red plot or something, then it gives it strength. And you can wear with this when it's strapped up, yeah. right? And this is where you can really mix in, like in the morning time, mm -hmm. like navy, and then this ring Lovely. three. And this is so hard to find in shops, huh? Yes. It's not so easy. The reason why, there's a reason. Because when merchandisers get together mm -hmm. and they have a meeting, they all inevitably decide that is it easier to sell navy blue exactly. and bright red, yeah. you know, cream and then like yeah. bright pink if it's yeah. a trend. This is a mix between blue, gray, and yeah. let's say green. So these are the colors that they give up on. And I think they're ones that for a lot of people aren't been the hardest to wear mm -hmm. until you understand their functionality. Yeah. Like I'm going to pull out the denim yeah. shirt again. This and this together is really interesting and then you can um <coughs> like just mixing in the red sandal here 
it just gives it like all of that good interest. Oh, did your uh, thing run out of time? Like uh, when the battery is off and you put the um, the the, au the audio doesn't work anymore. Oh. Don't ask me why. Thank you for that. Don't ask me why. That happens to me every now and then. Oh gosh, I have a car coming in eleven. These are designing. Huh? No, we're still live. <laughs> I just realized I have a car coming at 11, so now you guys are going to see this more in speed packing mode. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, okay. so. I think we I said I'm going to wear this in the. Oh, you know what? I'm going to wear these two. Yeah. In the car to Ez. And I'm going to hedge my bets because I'm not sure what the vibe is there when I pull up. So <laughs> I I'll, know, I'll just know. wear. I'm going to grab one of my t shirts up here. This t-shirt, this is going to go with me in the car. Okay. All right, now, you guys are going to really get the test to see how this works because we're going to see how fast this comes together. Nylon trousers. Um, we just did all of the, our favorite fabrication, our favorite bodies yeah. in the nylon because they're just the safest here. So. All these go through all these now. With everything. Everything goes with everything. And always, always, always over the shoulder. Would you ever buy something that goes only with like one piece of clothing in a wardrobe? When you, like, when you I will move. never buy anything that does not have the balance of chill, modern, and classic. So it's important. Well, like, maybe not a balance. Like, it, something could be a little more chill, but it still has to be modern. So I've learned for me, like for my style, <clears throat> Chloe, Isabel Marant. It's it's too like I'm drawn to it. I think it's really cool and beautiful. These are Dries Please. and love them. <laughs> and then oh <laughs> wait, trick, I'll show you. You cut the sock. Top of the sock. Oh. And it lets you roll up your pants. Yeah. Really high and still be comfortable. Mm. Um, Se non volete che i pantaloni struscino, tagliate una calza, li mettete sul fondo, li tirate su. Uh, this is a pant coming for fall that... Oh, they're like, sorry, how do we pair denim? Do you wear it also at night? Denim? Mm -mm. Denim. Yes. Let's see, I'm going to show you... Get under this, guys, because I'm gonna. I really, you really are seeing packing in real time because I have a car coming in 25 minutes. So you might even see me get a little stressed, but we're gonna do it. Yeah. Um, all right, my denim that I packed with me yeah. was. You have no jeans. I do. I have, oh. I have two pairs of jeans. And I really find that sometimes if I pack too many jeans in the summer, I don't. No. You know. You're not the big. Jeans wear. Mm. You are? Mm -hmm. I love jeans. Um, so let me show you. This jean is like a trouser mm -hmm. and it's quite soft. And this is one that we have coming out for fall. So I wore this on the airplane. Yep. And I will probably wear it again when I'm in Berlin. Okay, I'm going to put this in the bottom of the other side. What do you wear with jeans? So on the airplane, I wore a t shirt, the nylon blazer and a big sweater over my shoulders. And I try to get as many things on my, oh, actually, t-shirt, a big sh men's shirt, blazer, and then the sweater. Oh. Because that's a way to save, like, how much stuff yeah. goes in my bag, is if I wear it. jeans and blazer in nylon, per non essere, immagino. Okay, um. La borsa grande di Then. Yeah. Ah, Valenciano. We have. Realistically here, things are working out. Yeah. And that's where I do wear Lululemon, you know, like women for actually ladies. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah, I, I buy it. I don't wear it every day, but. Yeah, sure. Um, I knew it, I knew it. People are like, oh my God, on the plane with denim? I so, knew it. No, but so the key yeah. is, 
denim on a plane plane is comfortable. A big belly. Because you can never have something that creases your bottom. Know. So it has to be soft and comfortable. You know, I had a pair of jeans one size up just for flex. Yeah. Just easy, easy. Um, and not on the skirt. Oh, uh, Christine? Jeans are tacky or tacky? Jeans are flat. And no, 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 no. Can you see if those first shoes fit into the bags for to leave? Um, then these nylon shorts that we did actually go with the blazer. So, actually, this guy and then they're over right behind me there. So, this nylon short we did with the blazer. So this becomes like a little outfit for going out. In and I will wear a really low tank underneath it. And, um, okay. Il trucco della calza per i pantaloni troppo lunghi. Prendete il pantalone, prendete la calza, tagliate la parte sotto, rimane solo l'elastico. Se tu ti metti il pantalone, poi ti metti qua l'elastico e poi fai così, rimane così. No, è meglio tutto il tutto elastico a viso, è meglio. Right. No, you, no, scusa. Um, ah, no. You do, the, you do this. Put it, so put the elastic here. Yeah. And then you're going to tuck the pant into the top of the elastic. Uh, like that. And, and then, then roll it one more time. Yes. Ah, you want to roll it up. Yes. You use it to roll it up. Sorry, it's not like the t-shirt. So no, no, to roll it up. Yeah. Roll it up. Per, per tirarlo su, quindi mettete l'elastico nel bordo del pantalone, poi incastrate il bordo del pantalone dentro l'elastico e poi girate e tirarlo su da fuori diciamo invece il trucco della maglietta è prendete la maglietta mettete l'elastico e poi fate così e rimane così so you're gonna take a cashmere sweater here yeah. for the car uh, and then this is the one thing that I've bought that is truly for the beach and this is um, one of the skirts by Vegan and I just love and I think that when we talk about um, this is just over like a black bikini. Oh, okay. I love that's how. And like maybe a, maybe if I'm going to the farmer's market, I would throw a big white sweater on with yeah. it. And then again, the sandals. Yeah. The sandal. uh, and I think what I like about the Vedican is it has the spirit of something bohemian, but it's still kind of classic and a little more tailored. So it doesn't make me feel like it's a lot or something. Si può avere un po' più di luce? No. Ma si vede. They're like, how can I wear pants that are a bit too tiny? Uh, too short. Sorry. Too short. Uh, embrace it. You know, let the ankle show where, um, but. Okay, it, the shortness needs to be intentional. Mm. Okay. So if it's that length, yeah. then like, you know, if you took that up an inch and a half, oh, yeah. yeah. Which was the original plan that we were Oh, yeah, you took that. Yes. You yes. need to go down. It's such a basic feeling when it hits you right there. I it's think so that basic. is the feeling. It cut them too much, but then it's like slightly ah, above the shoe. That's why. I hate it. You know, most of our uh, pants, we have those, we have snaps in the back so that you can wear the sh back shorter than the front. This is uh, Celine. And uh, uh, the old, yeah. And no, then the, uh, no, this rubber bag I filled up with like, the stuff for like shampoos and things like that. So I filled it up with that. And I packed the rubber bag inside of here. Okay, so it's a beautiful thing. Uh, okay, this is so I was surprised. I bought this at Walk Store. And I loved that it had um, for a designer from Spain. Paloma? Accordea, certo, bellissimo. Love. And so this black bikini top. My black nylon jacket, little black sandals, like lunch, and then I, I'll wear it to the beach. And 
I was able to tie up the corner into a knot yeah. because it was a little too squared off for me. And so when I tied up the corner, it brought in the leg a little bit, which I liked. Okay. But this I, and I think most people will look at that and say that that's not my style. Exactly. But I thought so. with the white t-shirt and the black, I really love it. Okay. Um, Isn't it too much? Purple and white and black? Isn't it too... No, because it's bare. It's the black, like, well, actually, white t-shirt. Yeah. I have to see that. I had it on with a black bikini and the black blazer. I'll look at that. I'll take pictures. Um, these pants, jeans, like, Coffee. very, very soft, yeah. very worn in. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll wear this in, you know, Berlin the blazer. and twerk just with the blazer. And easy. Do you ever wear jeans with a t-shirt? Um, if I wore mm -hmm. jeans with a t-shirt, honestly, that's where I'd probably wear a jeweled shoe or something to get ah, okay. a little bit of friction. Okay. Jeans with a t-shirt, yes, but with scarves, maybe a little bit of friction. Raga, questi pantaloni costano quello che costano perché i materiali sono mega premium, tutti fatti in Italia, fidatevi di me. So, I think one of the keys when you're packing, because you can see, Julia, how all of this clothing <laughs> is landing in this bag here and we're still okay. Yeah. Really, this is where, like, when I'm traveling, Resist the urge to put in like a big thick sweatshirt or a cable knit sweater or something, yeah. you know. Me too. Yeah. Really it takes up too much space. You too can much even space. layer and actually a, a thin cardigan sweater sometimes is better than a than a big sweater. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And for Same each, purpose but less uh, space in the luggage. And I have two white button downs, but one is really oversized. And one is quite thick. Okay. You know, just making sure that okay. the pieces that you have are just really like yeah. easy. And um, what, what do you work out in? Which shoes? Those? Ones? Oh yes, grab oh. those. I I haven't oh. worn them yet. They look so thin. I know. I'm I'm really curious because I I read that they're supposed to be really great. What? I know. So I'm nervous, but I was like, they're going to be so easy to pack. They come shape. And, um, and they okay. apparently like spread out your toes ah. when you're wearing them. Okay. So I'm really curious how it's going to be. Um, and then... But by in case they don't work out, they buy some. I'll, I'll have to get some there. Yeah. But I've been really torn lately. I haven't known like what kind. I want to wear. Um, all of the bathing like suits are meant to be worn as uh, everything's meant to be worn as a bra as well. Especially yeah. like this one from um, I don't know if you guys get Malia, M Malia Mills over here. No. But her wow. bathing suits are she and I started at the same time what in the, 1997. What the, like underwear feeling. Yeah, she, I've never seen a... Her things all have bra cap sizes. Mm -hmm. So it's not just like small, medium, large. So her, because of that, her bathing suits are particularly good to wear as bras because they're all sized. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. No, they didn't know this. See, see, so no, the, they ask for the sandals, the, the, the burgundy ones. Uh, they're they're all, those are uh, Loewe from, I think, two or three years ago. Lucky Loewe. Lucky Loewe. TV. They look like TV, yeah? It's a TV style. Totally. Yeah. You know, I think that when you... I mean, you must like Loewe Prada. Like, those are your brands. Balenciaga. And you like brands that... I like Loewe, but I wouldn't wear Loewe. Yeah? The clothing is too extreme. And I, I like the idea of it, but... Yeah, I love it, it shows the stuff. I look at it, I'm like, great, genius, but... It's, it's hard to... Yeah. I, so I bought accessories. Oh, yeah, sure. I bought the accessories. Yeah. Um, a good pair of socks. These are Blue Scarpa. I love Blue Scarpa. They, um... Who's Blue Scarpa? They are... Uh, it's this guy, Matt. 
And American? he is Italian, but I think born in America, his dad's Italian, his dad was Italian. Yeah, because Bruce Cockburn is Italian. Uh, I'm like, you, you, don't, you don't put anywhere like this? Yeah. Just, no pochettes, no nothing? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> no, because like, why? <laughs> like, for afterwards, after I've worn it, but for now. You know, you know the people are obsessed with like packing cubes. You know, See, that, like, you know, you know, I want to buy this one. I don't know, but I have a little bit of the beach, no? Or the beach. Yeah. It is. And, and when you were asking about what bag to wear out to dinner sometimes with like the black yeah. dress, that, yeah. you know, you just put like your phone in there and sure. then, um, you know, something yeah. that you can put everything else in. I love it. Everybody packs with the packing cubes and we throw stuff like this. Like, no, I'm bothered. <laughs> <laughs> um, then I take with me two sunglasses. Three. Okay. So three sunglasses for different moments because of where I'm going. So I was showing this on our live last the fun week. One, the, the fun ones, the basic ones, the yeah, the and then first the ones. <laughs> yeah, like the yeah. So you got yeah, true yeah. classic, yeah, 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 pop yeah. color, pop color. Yeah, pop color. Um, I've got two baseball caps, have not found a floppy hat yet that I can ah, deal with. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 I need it yeah. for sun coverage, but yeah. I have yet to, and that's been yet, this one's up. Um, okay, so, I'm going to show the We made it, huh? <laughs> Seriously, like. Seriously, we made it. Okay, because now let's see, I've got the other. I'm going to pack my shoes in here, but super quickly while we're doing this, I'm going to put on my outfit for the car. Mm -hmm. He's coming. Thank you. This was the whole ploy to get you here to pack for me. things that I bought on vacation in a stall, a silver necklace from Mexico, and then good fine jewelry, and then something quite extreme like these little Bottega guys are good for then, you mm -hmm. know, when you want to just give like yeah. an outfit the punch. So don't forget to use these accessories in a way that yes. will really um, help you out. And I mean, you guys, I've got room left over. Yeah. This is crazy. This is hard to believe, but yes. Uh, this is a bag I came with, but then I did buy. We'll see. I told my husband it's my anniversary gift to myself. That's my purchase. Um, I've got all my books that 
I brought. Oh, I thought you you had a Kindle, not also books. I for <laughs> to be able to read outside on vacation. I I don't do well with the Kindle. No, so no, 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 no. I got that. Is, um, I'm I'm working on the second book. I'm reading Tender as a Night, F. Scott Fitzgerald, and then Christopher Hitchens, and then Harvard Business Review. Uh, hold next, but write the damn book, and then. Um, I mean, that's it. That's it. Okay, so this was incredible, right? The thing is, you don't have one for an iPad, for an iPad, and you don't have to have an iPad. You don't have to have an iPad. No, no. If something goes wrong, I spill coffee on me, that's it. I'm not good. Yeah, what you need to think of is a sporty, dressy, beachy, hiking, like, I love that we It was met. great. Yeah. As always. All right, guys. I'm hopping in the car now. <laughs>